we decided to not to shoot that movie in anamorphic because we knew that uh, on the concert scene sometimes you have to use eight, nine, ten cameras and and in anamorphic it would have been either too costly or e even impossible to get so many cameras, you know, in uh, for one weekend or something like that, you know. So we decided to do to do it uh, in a normal 185 way, which I didn't mind at all. It it made our our job really little, little bit also, uh, I would say, easier because we didn't have to use probably as many lights as uh, as I would have done in anamorphic. The studio was complaining any, any, anyhow about why did we use so many lights and all that, and uh, telling us that you know in those days in Janis Janis Joplin days. The stages actually were quite dark. I mean, they didn't have this, this modern rock and roll lighting yet and all that. But, but here is the problem, you know, when we, when we do a movie about rock and roll, uh, do you, I mean, uh, we, we felt that by trying to light it dark, people will not accept it as reality anymore because, because they are, you know, seeing the, 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 the stage shows of that time when we shot the movie, it would not feel right for them. So we cheated actually a little bit, actually saying that, okay, we are not going to stay uh, true to reality because we don't really have to. Because first of all, the rose is not Janis Joplin because it's not, we couldn't actually do the real story because the family of uh, as Janis actually didn't, didn't want anything to do with the movie, and they, they, they didn't actually go along with us to, to make a movie of her. So we had to create a different character, different circumstances, to not even look like Janis Joplin. So, so we agreed to that.